thank you everyone basically today I'll be talking about two uh, aspects number one would be for our campus ambassadors to inspire other students of this country so that they can become part of this program for the campus ambassadors you know our study was conducted by Harvard University and Stanford Research Center and it says 85% of your career success depends on your people skill. So what is that people skill? The other name of that people skill is called soft skills. What is that soft skill as well? That 85% of your career depends on that and shockingly only 15% only 15% on your technical skill that means that's education or certification you might have. So it is important that your kids, it is important that being a student or graduate, you must have this people skill or soft skill. And interestingly, there is no university where these soft skills are taught. So what are these soft skills? And another study was conducted by Carnegie Research Institute and it says that 85% of your financial success for example, you are, do not want to do a job, so you want to do business. So 85% of your financial success depends on your people skill or soft skill. What is that? The way you negotiate with people, the way you lead, the way you work in a team. That means your team management, your communication, your presentation, your leadership, your negotiation, interpersonal skill. All these things are called soft skill or people skills and 85% of your career success depends on that people skill. For example, you can see a lot of volunteers are here today, upstairs, third floor, fourth floor, second floor, downstairs, everywhere. And interestingly, they are the campus ambassadors of English Olympiad. A lot of problems are there and without any help, they are sitting together, they are working together to solve that problem. So they are learning ultimately how to solve a problem, that problem solving skills. They are communicating with the leaders, with the guests, with presenters, with everyone. Through this communication, they are developing their communication skills. That the girl, the small girl, maybe she is a student of class 9 or 8. She is presenting today, it means she is developing her presentation, communication skills. You can see there are teams, there are different groups that they are holding, I mean, to organize these events. So they are learning how to work in a team, that team management. And finally, after successful organizing this event, they are learning how to organize an event. So all the skills based on that, they can be successful in their career. And a study by, from Harvard, Stanford, Carnegie Research Institute, and it says that 85% of your career success depends on soft skills or people skills, and they're learning practically from here. So I must appreciate this initiative taken by Aman Bhai, taken by English Olympia to train our campus ambassadors how to become a good leader. And second thing, for the participants, very important one because today is the selection round and after today, I mean later on, once all divisional rounds are done, so you will be facing theater round and final one, final round. So for theater and final round, you have to present. You will be given certain ideas or topics and you need to present over there. So to develop your presentation skills, Today I'm going to give you some tips. So I'm holding this microphone, so that might uh, hamper the whole presentation today, but for your presentation that will be a bit different because group by group, you will be divided to present. There will be judges, panel of judges to judge you based on your presentation. So now number one tip for you, your whole presentation should be divided in three parts, intro, body and conclusion. In your intro, you must know how to attract the audience's attention. So there, a catchy starting is important. So how to make a attractive intro? You need to find certain ways to make that attractive intro of your presentation. That's, uh, that will be really important because based on that, you'll be given marks by your judges. 
So, the first part, intro. Intro must be attractive intro. There are certain ways to start by asking questions, engagement, by sharing a story or by acting out, whatever it is in your mind, make sure that you must, you do have an attractive intro. Second thing, body of your whole presentation or a speech. Inside the body, you must have data. You must have information, you must have stories. Sharing stories is really important. Once you share stories, that could be from that poor slum, that could be from your personal life. Once you share a story, that ultimately connects with your audience. So it's important to share the story from your presentation. Last year, I mean last to last year, in 2019, we saw the champions, they really had something really different presentation. They shared a story, they had humors, they had information, and the presentation with their body language, nonverbal cues, everything matter in your presentation. So during your body, you must have something in you. That is story, that could be humor. If you can engage through humor, it is wonderful information based on that topic the topic you choose or the topic will be given you must have information you must have i mean uh, information uh, valid and related information on that and another one very important performance performing here so in that case for example today i'm holding this uh, card and microphone that is hampering me to use this stage so stage crafting is important while using this stage you need to know how to craft this stage so make sure that you divide the whole stage in three parts start from here use this part share certain ideas or stories from here go there that means you are making sure that you are using whole stage here it is important that is stage crafting voice modulation for example you are sharing a sad story you need to take pause with a low voice because divide your whole pitch or voice in three parts lower part middle part and upper part so it is important that while sharing a sad story once you are talking about a poor people of this country and you help them by blanket or other things so poor once you are sharing that sad story it means sad story so you need to talk from that bottom part of your pitch so that voice modulation is important I mean vocal variety you need to know how to use that vocal variety so based on that judges will be marking you another important thing eye contact like uh, uh, positioning your eyes over there or that corner or like there or there you need to maintain that eye contact with your audience with the judges based on that you'll be given marks and also the body language using your hand gesture open posture the way you stand it should be like standing center point everything not like like that so be careful about it the way we stand the way you sit i mean this called uh, posture so that posture gesture eye contact smiling face all things matter actually in your presentation and finally conclusion conclusion the whole presentation with a message so message should be there what is the ultimate message of, of your presentation that must be stated in your presentation so if I conclude the whole thing summarize whole thing that your presentation must have an intro that should be attractive that should be engaging in the beginning you must attract the attention of your audience then body body must in your inside your body you must have certain stories uh, I mean you need to also be careful about your body language I mean nonverbal cues eye contacts vocal variety voice modulation hand gesture and stage crafting all these things matter so you need to uh, keep an eye on that and finally a conclusion conclusion that means that could be a summary of your whole speech or a message concluding your speech with a message so as it is recorded so later on all the participants you must watch it because based on that you'll be given marks by the judges so your presentation ultimately should be attractive and to make an attractive presentation that is small tips might help you in future so if i conclude the whole speech that i share today number one was for the volunteers and those who are the students of different universities schools colleges for you 
Yes, this people skill, soft skill will help you to become successful in your career. And for the participants, presentation, that is small tips for presentation today will help you for your success. And sometimes, you know, if uh, already, uh, I mean, the announcers uh, gave my intro about who I am. If I do not uh, talk about that, actually that will be injustice to my organization. I have been working for Universal College Bangladesh. This is the first time Ministry of Education from Bangladesh government has approved any international education provider right here in Bangladesh. So we are exclusive partner of Monash College Australia, which is fully owned by Monash University. And if I talk about Monash University, it is a world top ranked university. Whatever the ranking, you just name it, you will find Monash within top 100 rank. So top 100 rank for Bangladesh, I mean you will not find any university within 500 or 1000 in ranking. Whatever the ranking you name, you will find Monash within top 100 rank. For, for example, in Bangladesh, uh, most taught ranked is called QS ranking and Monash University stands 58. And other times ranking by USA, Monash University stands 40. So that's the university opportunity we have brought in Bangladesh so that our kids start their Monash University degree journey right here from Bangladesh after your O, AS, A or HSC exams. A bit costly, but don't, uh, I mean, bring your parents to our campus. I would like to have the pleasure to invite you to be there. I'm also Division L Director of Toastmasters International. I, I believe that you have heard of Toastmasters the largest platform in the world where people can practice communication, leadership, and public speaking skills. Bangladesh is part of District 41. We do have two divisions now, and uh, one of the divisions is Division L. I'm director of Division L. So ultimately, in your final round, some judges will be there as well. Based on that, whatever the learning I have received today, I delivered that presentation thing. So hopefully you have learned Thank you very much and thank you English Olympiad for inviting me. Thank you Aman Bhai. Thank you the volunteers. Bingo.